Welcome Scorpio and cross watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means it could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. Let's go ahead and jump into messages from your person. I've been dreaming about you. So for some of you, you could also be having really significant dreams about this person. Someone else is checking your social media for me. I'm scared of being rejected. I'm going to come see you. I should have been honest from the start. I got in trouble for talking to you. This feels really specific. Remember to always take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Third party, there it is. Okay, so for some of you it could be that maybe this person is or was involved with someone else and they did not tell you that from the start. I should have told you I love you too. I'm ashamed of my past. At first, I thought this would just be passion. So again, we're not going to justify anyone's negative actions, behaviors, etc. But we do want to understand this person so that no matter what you choose to do, you have free will. You will have some kind of clarity or understanding, you know, if this can work or how it could work. If that's what you wanted or closure to be able to move forward. Um, I think this person in the past, they didn't really expect to fall in love with you or to have these feelings. And there could have been a time where, you know, maybe you tried to express how you felt. Maybe you told them that you love them. You know, you gave them that choice. You gave them that opportunity. Like, do you want to be with me? Are you going to hold on to this past person? Like, whatever it was, some kind of truth came out. I should have just been honest from the, from the start. They had an opportunity. They had every chance to tell you that they loved you. That they were sorry for what they did. But they made a mistake. Now this person is scared of being rejected because maybe, you know, you don't want to keep dealing with this person. Because I think it's happened. They got in trouble, so they distanced themselves. And they've had someone else checking up on you for them. Now for some of you, I know you're going to be in my comments, mystic, everything is private. That's fine. That, you know. But for some of you, if someone's desperate to learn information, they could still keep checking, Right. Maybe you don't even have a social media account, but they still check to see if maybe you've made one, right? Uh, or if your family tagged you at anything, or if there's company picnic photos from last year, or, you know, we'll just check again. Come on, man, just check again. Pull up her page and see, or pull up his page, whatever. See if maybe it's, it's public now. Maybe they changed it public. They're, they're going to get nosy. They're going to check this person to say if they were with a third party. Maybe they weren't fully honest with you about their circumstances. Now this person keeps having dreams and they're thinking that it's a sign that they need to take action to come and see you. But they are very much afraid of being rejected. All right. So clear messages and guidance here. What is going on? What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and... Your energy, your person's energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or the challenge here, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions and actions, if any. Under the deck is the Two of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords. This person can't stop thinking about you. They drug their feet. I, I feel like, you know, when you kind of discovered the situation or things just weren't moving forward with the two of you, you know, you may have had, you know, a question for them, an ultimatum. Are you still with that person? Did you lie to me? You know, are you still seeing that person? Are you going to keep working things out with that person? Are you going to be living with that person? Are you married to that person? Like, you may have had so many different types of questions for this person in regards to their connection with somebody else. And for some of you, I feel like this person was very hesitant to answer truthfully. It's almost like they kind of clammed up or just went silent. And you just want things to be fair. You you just want some type of balance. You know, if you're going to, you're honest with them. That's all you asked for was honesty, trust. And this person broke that. The problem is you're conflicted because as much as this person hurts you, you had feelings for them. And those feelings you had, despite what they did, they're genuine. And we can't help how we feel. 
I think you're kind of torn between the situation of, I want what I deserve. I want what's right for me. And this person wasn't in a position to offer that to me. They betrayed that trust. How can I ever forgive them? How can I ever move forward? So some of you, maybe you are done with this connection. For some of you, you might be willing to hear this person out to see like if they do have any remorse for their past actions. This person's in love with you. They fell head over heels in love with you. For some of you, I do get this person could have taken up drinking or some type of like, um, something to kind of numb out the pain. It doesn't have to be, you know, like drugs or things like that, substances, but I mean, it could be like any type of negative or toxic behavior like gambling or, you know, um, it's just anything that may be like an unhealthy way to kind of online shopping. I mean, anything to kind of just distract themselves from what they're feeling. For some of you, I am, I am getting like this person may have had drinks with like a friend or something and like confessed all of this to them. Some of you could have been a friend, could have been like a brother or like a sister. And they told them everything. I feel like this person has encouraged them to follow their heart. It is, with this star between the two of you, I kind of just get this sense of like, you find yourself... You know, like you could be looking up in the sky and thinking about this person and wondering, like, are you thinking of me looking up at the exact same time, thinking about me kind of thing? Um, or like you look up at the moon and it's a beautiful full moon and you kind of think to yourself, are we looking at the same thing at the same time? You know, are you somewhere else in the world right now away from me, but thinking of me? And there are any moments where you do feel like, you know, you just intuitively know that this person's thinking of you. Now we have Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, a um, little water, a little air, it could be any sign, but Libra. The problem is this person just wasn't honest with you. And it's so hard to build a relationship with someone that you don't feel like you can trust. Are they going to betray that trust again? Did they just tell you all the things they thought you wanted to hear? Was any of it real for them? You have so many questions and you want them answered. And your person is trying to think, you know, how can I come in? How can I fix this? What would I need to do? What will this person expect of me? What will Scorpio want? What will they need? How could I reassure them? Now their thoughts towards you, Page of Swords, they know that you're wanting to have a really deep conversation. It does make them nervous because they feel like a lot of anxiety just thinking about, you know, talking about this and answering these questions, things they've tried to avoid because they know it's going to hurt you. They know it makes them look horrible and they're ashamed, but they also know that it needs to happen. And I do feel like your person is thinking, you know, what can I do here? What can I do? How can I solve this? How can I fix it? Like, so they are kind of watching. I think they are watching for some type of clue. Someone else is checking your social media for me. They may, because there's some type of third party and this person is saying, I got in trouble for talking to you. So this karmic person, this other person is aware that they were involved with you in some way. They've been trying very hard to keep themselves distracted, to keep themselves busy, to not think about you in this connection, but it's impossible. And like I said, for some, I feel like they've kind of been like working or like out with friends or something and they kind of just let it all spill to this person. I do feel like this person, like I said, they've been having dreams that it, to them, they're seeing it as a sign that they're supposed to be with you. Like, I can't stop thinking about you. You're always in my thoughts. I keep sleeping, falling asleep and thinking about you. They're very worried about being rejected. It's like they know they have to kind of come in with something of value. They can't come in and say, you know, nothing's changed because you're just going to slam the door in their face, hang up, block their number. Like, you're not going to want to hear it. What do you need to know about this connection for the collective, please? Yeah. You deserve love. You are lovable. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, so you and this person may currently not be together, may not be in any contact, physical or emotional distance. 
uh, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So they want they want new love. They don't want to pursue the past. They want to pursue something that is new. This can also talk about renewals, new relationships. Give your relationship a chance to work on your partnership. It's going to be entirely up to you, but this person is coming in. They are worried that you'll reject them, but they're going to shoot their shot anyway. They're going to see you know, if you're willing to hear them out and potentially give them a chance. They know that you are going to have to come clean about everything. That makes them nervous, but they know it's necessary, and they're hoping that they're going to have the chance to make things right with you. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.